now i'll rebuild this i need to implement my code here first of all i need the object of local report so local report is a class which is present in microsoft.reporting.webforms so i'm making object of local report and the local report path i'm just mapping server dot map path reports slash url report dot rdlc you can see that reports slash url report dot rdlc so i'm mapping that i don't want this now once i map the path i get local report object next thing i need to configure data source for this report you can see that i have report data source class and i'm setting report data source dot name is url data set that is nothing but if you look into url reports the data set name is url data set and the value for this data source i need to get it from obj bs that is nothing but the object of this business class i'll say f12 see that it is object of common bs now with that object i am trying to access url bs then get all where i am trying to get the approved urls to list so i have created the data source now i need to bind this data source to the local report or you can say i can add so local report dot data source dot add so i get the data source so i have added that now i need to configure few parameters for the file or you can say attributes of the file report type what is what what should be the type of report whatever i am getting it from here report type mime type encoding i am simply you know i am taking some strings then file name extension this is important file name extension is nothing but i am trying to check the report type if report type is excel then the file extension should be excel sx else it is pdf so file extension should be pdf some warnings some streams and render byte this is important render byte because this is what i'm going to get the final file in the form of bytes and i'm going to render this on the output so anyway i'm not going to make much use of these things but i'm going to make use of report type and file name extension and render byte you can see that now if you observe render byte equals to local report dot render so we have this local report i am trying to render that so in this method you have all the parameters that you need to pass make it to two line so you have first parameter as report type then second parameter is device output device so i am passing it as null and mime type encoding file name extension this is important out stream and out warning so if there is some kind of problem while rendering so you will get it in warning message so all the thing finally i am attaching header content disposition file name should be urls dot file extension finally i need to return the file i need to say return file render bytes so here i get all the information in bytes so i'll say render byte and file extension name if it is excel or pdf that's it we are done just you can google and you can try to you know explore these attributes which are very simple and you'll get a brief idea about that that's it now let me execute this i'll go to browse urls 
I'll click on Excel. You see that I get the information in Excel. So I get really a beautiful report in Excel. In the same way, I want PDF. I can see that I get the information in PDF and here it says list of approved URLs as on the date and time. Now let me try to change this into a you know drop down kind of links. So I want to enhance the UI. That's it. I don't want to do any new things. I want to simply enhance the UI. So I'll just remove these two links. Then I'll add a diff tag pull right. So it is it will be on right side and button group and export to excel and pdf these are the links so again you can get it from your bootstrap theme now i should have a very beautiful ui so, wow here i get export to excel then export to pdf i get pdf i get Excel. In the same way, if you want image or word, you simply need to add one more link. That's it. Copy this and add one more link word and depending upon that, you set the extension. If it is Excel, then XLS, else you need to check for word then you set as doc else pdf so let me even do that word save this here i'm going to check one more scenario that's it i'll save this execute it export to word I get a word document and I get the information in this word document. So that's it for this video. This is how you can implement reports in MVC. Thank you very much.